And then back home. Yeah. Well, they have one for the glaciers, but it's only for work. I can't remember the number. Oh, it's in the kitchen. I saw it plugged into its charging cradle. I'm going cray, I'm going cray. Sure, yes, of course, if that would help. Will you phone the house to let me know when you want to come round? Then I can make sure that I'm there. It was different? Wait, no way. Okay, let's watch this first. What did we search? Yes. Um, Bed. I got to Glasgow, I was exhausted, so I pulled over and slept in the car. I woke up because a rubbish truck went past. I got some petrol, poured a coffee and a pastry, tried calling someone from the payphone, and then headed back. Wait a second. Okay. Are you saying this is different? <sighs> okay. Um, I parked up on the street. It was busy, so I parked down at the end of the road. I walked up to the house. I knocked on the door. No answer. I took my keys out of my bag, unlocked the door. The main lock was unlocked. I could tell because the key wouldn't turn when I tried to turn it to the left. I walked in. Simon's coat wasn't on the peg. I couldn't see his shoes on the shoe rack. Um, I shouted out for him. I walked straight into the kitchen. He usually sits in there to have a cup of tea and read his paper. He wasn't there. I touched the kettle. It was cold. Um, I looked quickly into the living room. Nothing. I walked upstairs to the bedroom. He wasn't there. I didn't search for him because it was pretty clear he wasn't there. And then I had a shower. Whilst I was in the shower, the phone rang. I think it was Eric, his boss. I didn't answer it. Then I came out and I was just exhausted. So I lay down on the bed and I fell asleep, but I didn't mean to. I woke up a couple of hours later and I was surprised to see no one in the bed next to me. And then I remembered where I was and what had happened. That's when Eric called again. I spoke to him. Then I called Simon's parents. And then I decided to come and see you. Is that enough? Okay, so what was the other one? So I'm gonna just mark this as what, what? What's up, I judge? So then. Parked up on the street. It was busy, okay. so I had to park down the end of the road. Walked up, knocked on the door, no answer. I took my keys out of my bag and unlocked the door. The main lock was unlocked. You can tell because the key doesn't turn when you try to turn it to the left. I walked in. Simon's coat wasn't on the peg. I couldn't see his shoes in the shoe rack. I shouted out. Um, I walked straight into the kitchen because he usually sits in there to have a it cup of tea different. and read his paper, but he wasn't there. I touched the kettle, it was cold. I looked quickly in the living room, nothing. So I walked upstairs to the bedroom and he wasn't there. I didn't search for him because it was pretty clear he wasn't there. I had a shower, the phone rang whilst I was in the shower, I didn't okay. answer it, I think it was Eric. Then I was just exhausted. So I lay down on the bed okay. and sleep, though I didn't mean to. I woke up a couple of hours later and I was surprised to see no one in the bed next to me. And then I remembered where I was and what had happened. That's when Eric called again. This time I spoke to him. Then I called Doug and Eleanor. He said she... Yeah, yeah, okay. And I decided to come and see you. That enough? So we have, okay, so this one is clearly rehearsed. Like, you can tell. The, the, the first video, okay, so this is what, what, fake. <laughs> All right, so this is E. I think, 6.30? I don't know. I don't know who's who. This is 
it's the <laughs> this is one of them who is rehearsing it, which means she didn't actually experience this. It was the other person. It's clearly rehearsed. So in fake, she says Doug and Eleanor. D and Eleanor. Um, you think the other one was more rehearsed, really? I mean, this one, like, it seemed like she was, like... The other one was so, like, quick and smooth. It seemed, like, natural. Like, she was, like, going through the motions, like... Okay. I want to see this beginning part again. I parked up in the street. street. It, it was, was busy. busy. So I had to park down the end of the road. Walked up, knocked on the door, no answer. I took my keys out of my bag and unlocked the door. The main lock was unlocked. You can tell because the key doesn't turn when you try to turn it. I know, it seems like she's like, like literally rehearsing it. Where here it's like, done, 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 done. Wait, wait, which one happened first? Actually, that'll tell us which one's fake. Right? Well, I mean... This is 6.30. This is the next day, actually. The what what is, is the next day. Oh, okay. Um, I parked up on the street. It was busy, so I parked down the end of the road. I walked up to the house, I knocked on the door, no answer. I took my keys out of my bag, unlocked the door. The main lock was unlocked. I could tell because the key wouldn't turn when I tried to turn it to the left. I walked in, Simon's coat wasn't on the peg. I couldn't see his shoes on the shoe rack. Um, I shouted out for him. I walked straight into the kitchen. He usually sits in there to have a cup of tea and read his paper. He wasn't there. I touched the kettle, it was cold. I mean, this um, one has to be the I fake one. into the living room, nothing. I walked upstairs to the bedroom. And she says, Simon's parents. <laughs> You're married. Clearly, like, okay, this is the what what fake. This is what what fake. Because it's it happens after. And she says Doug's, she says Simon's parents. I took a screenshot. I don't know how. I don't know why. Okay. So this one's fake. I don't know what this tells us. This tells us that 7 1 is a lie. 7 1. 7 1. With my face. <laughs> we had like hell. <laughs> Wait a sec. 7 1 is Eve already. So this actually confirms, like, helps reaffirm that. Fake. Fake is going to be 7-1 with Eve. I don't know how this helps, but this is for sure Hannah. 6-30. Which goes with our theory, right? Yeah. We already have this written down. Okay. <laughs> I don't know, though. Like, I mean, I don't know, like, like what this helps do besides Please. confirm what we already know. Oh, yeah. No, it's nothing. I was going through the top cupboard in my kitchen and the chair slipped and I kind of hit the door with my face. I mean, hell like hell. <laughs> Wait a second. Okay, there's some inconsistencies here. Because on another video, okay, in another video, the bruise is on the other side. Door, door, door. The bruise. Wrong side, idiot. So stuff like that just comes and goes. This is six twenty-seven. This is six twenty-five. So six twenty-five and six twenty-seven. These are different. These are different people. So they're not both Hannah. We thought they were both Hannah, but they're not both Hannah. So it's 
So we have 625 blue, 627 red. We're not sure who is who. Let's watch this. If one of us got hurt, the other one would have to be hurt too. A grazed knee, a bruise. When I lost my tooth first, we had to pull our harness to match. Once, I slept with a boy who was seeing another girl. The girlfriend came up to Hannah the next day and punched her in the face, gave her a huge black eye. That night, she had to do the same to me. Ouch. And she almost went too far. I couldn't see out of that eye for days. She snuck the frozen peas up for me from the kitchen. Mm. So much of our bodies were synchronized anyway. We started our period on the same day, when our childhood diseases, stomach bugs, nits. Did we finish door? No, we didn't. Yeah, I had to let myself in. The door locks if it swings too. No, they were shut. Most of the windows are really hard to open anyway. It's stifling in summer. They were painted over by my dad. Could have left a door open accidentally. Oh, there's a cat flap in the back door. Well, yeah, the cat things. That was much earlier. No, no cat. My parents had a cat before they died called Domino. Was this little black thing with white dots. And we never did anything about the cat flap, but if you were thin, you could maybe squeeze through it. What did we learn about the cat flap earlier? <sighs> this other person doesn't exist. I don't know what the blonde wig is, but it could be anything. Have you looked at the cat flap? So there's like a point, in, there's like a point where they're pretending to be the same and then they separate. Like, why are they pretending to be the same and now they're, but then they're like, now. Ugh. When we weren't together, we would send messages by tapping out a code that we'd learn from a book. The not code. Something prisoners of war would use. We'd tap them out on radiator pipes or the attic floor. He was doing that in the video about Eve. Dad thought we had mice, but they couldn't find any. Go to cat anyway. She's doing that in a video when she was like really flustered about talking about Eve. She wasn't wearing that outfit, was she? We loved our cat, Domino. Um, he had this little bell around his neck to stop him from killing birds in the garden. And we used to write each other notes and put them in the bell and we could send them to each other. Mum found some of the notes once and she thought I was just writing to myself because our handwriting was identical. Um, we had our own words for him, so I guess. she didn't quite understand them anyway. Okay. Tap. Just tap it in. She does it here. The light blue shirt, 630. <sighs> Eve. 
I don't know why she- I don't know why she does that, though. But I just noticed that. Look what the lady knows where Doug is. <laughs> um, let me think, let me think, let me think. She cray? They are cray. They are cray. Because there's like, a, there's like, they start, like, trying to pretend to be the same person, and then, like, now, then they get to a point where they're, like, they, like, stop talking. Like, they, they say that they're different. Oh my god, my head, guys. Um, let me think. Oh, man. Alright. Doug and Eleanor. The wig. We already searched blondes? Yeah. I know so much about these people's lives. You can check- okay. Okay, I'll check the database. Do I want to quit this session? I just want to check the DB checker. I'd keep that open. One volume missing? I don't know what this means. We're still missing a good chunk of videos. Um, where can I go next? Let me think. Aaron the Gamer, oh my goodness. I'm in love with the loco. People are subbing to her show show. Aaron the Gamer, thank you so much for subbing and supporting the stream. Really appreciate that. Grumpy Cat is going to welcome you as Booker is ready for this. Grumpy Cat is going to welcome you into the Looney Bin. Aaron the Gamer, thank you so much for subbing. You are now officially a full fledged Looney. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much, Aaron. I appreciate the support. Thank you so much. Because never optimized her drive confirmed. Please. Okay. Where can we? How can we get an, a new lead here? Uh, let's go, broken. Let's go back to the mirrors. Do we have anything new on the mirrors? Oh, what about the glazier? Did we get everything off that? I did. Well, we met when we were seventeen, both working at the glaziers. No. Everyone loved Simon. He's a glazier who doesn't have much money. I, mean, I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. stories that she'd waited for him to come back. She put on my wig, some of my clothes, pretended to be me. They talked. She'd enjoyed being me. He said he wanted to be with me. Then he took out a present, another mirror. Just like the one he'd given her earlier. Oh, snap! That unique present. She went crazy, smashed the mirror. They argued, screamed. He hit her. So she grabbed a piece of the mirror and just swung it round. She cut his throat clean open. She'd only meant to scare him off. Oh snap, guys! Oh snap! On his throat.
Booker, your farts are straight up rotten eggs. Mother wanted me to grow my hair long, but I kept cutting it myself. I, I killed her. I wanted to look like my reflection. She always had short hair when she was little. Mother would hide the scissors, but I would find a way. Cut it with a bread knife, something like that. My reflection would always leave her house and go on adventures, but I never could. Mother taught me at home, and I had books and TV. Oh, TV was magical, but it was only on when it wanted to be, so I spent a lot of time reading books. I, I do see the reflections. Strange. What do you want me to say? Like every time it happens, Both I don't know what, how you want me to react. I think. Now I miss this. <clears throat> yes. The first time we saw each other, it was strange. We both realized at the same moment, I think. We must have seen each other before, but there was this instant when we first realized it wasn't a reflection. The reflection was staring back. I think I was five. It was my birthday. My reflection was wearing dragon. party hat and waving. I knew what party hats were from books. And it suddenly occurred to me, today must be my birthday. I waved back and we just spent ages waving at each other and copying each other's movements. Mm. <laughs> All right, reflection. I mean, I, I mean, I'm pretty sure I, I've already figured out that it's Hannah, but I want to watch all the videos. I wanted to see my reflection. I thought that if I touched her, something would happen. We would become one. One girl. The fairy tale was over, the witch was dead, and I'd be restored to my rightful place. I mean, there's still a lot we don't know, but... Is Gerald Lopez here? What's up, Gerald Lopez? What's up, Brittany? Um. What else can we search? What else can we search? I mean. Okay, so there's a point where. Like, the first thing we watch is this person. See, no, see, something's wrong here. I didn't murder Simon. You've got it wrong. You've got the wrong person. 1126. 1205. So then what, 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 what video... How do we get to the video? These videos. So then... Like I said before, it was three, something like that. His throat, there had been a lot of blood, he was dead.
She put on my and wig. Smacked piece of the mirror and just swung it round. Twelve oh three. So twelve oh three. She she. Okay. So here's the problem. At twelve oh three, she blames Hannah. She fr She says it's Hannah. And then at twelve oh five, two minutes later, she wants a lawyer. I'd like to speak to a lawyer now. Please. You have no murder weapon. You have nothing. And all these stories we've been telling each other. Just that. Stories. See, see, this is a problem. When I think I figured it out, like this this thing just throws a curveball. At 12.05, two minutes later, after telling a story, she wants a lawyer. Why? 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 Why would she want a lawyer and say, like... Wait, is she... I mean, we can't look up... Like, dates, right? That sucks. See, that's weird. At the time they said it was poison. Food poisoning. I mean, I felt so guilty. If I'd still been at home, hmm. maybe I could have done something. I don't know. Am I ever going to figure this out? I mean... Yes. I thought about telling Hannah. I felt guilty after the kiss. But then it began to feel like this was the way it should be. Sharing. Like we had before. He never mentioned her to me. There was the Simon with me. And the Simon with her. It was almost like it was a different Simon. But at eleven fifty five. But different. I thought it maybe sounds suspicious. Hmm. It's not a normal thing to do to drive to the other end of the country. I just I wanted to keep it simple. I know it was stupid not to tell you everything. Saying I spent the night in Glasgow when my husband went missing, I thought it would, you know, distract you from what was important. It's different now. There he is. Oh my god. When beautiful people died, I always felt like it was a sign. You remember Princess Grace? Grace Kelly? She died in a car crash the year before we met Simon. We used a Ouija board to speak to her and that gave us the power to find him. That's what we thought then. That people who die tragically leave some kind of magic behind. We used to share dreams. We used to wake up and write them down in our diaries immediately and compare them. I'm just trying to find all the videos. So many confusing things. I can't spell Ouija. Okay, we already looked at all those videos. Uh, dream. Already looked at those. Hmm. What's an average playtime for this game? Uh, yeah, people say like three to five hours. We've been playing this game for since like three o'clock, so we're just touching on three hour mark. Um, 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 um,